Hi, boys and girls. So I am here in Teams. I'm going to show you today how to edit your class notebook, your homework, or your quizzes are in one note. Now, I am signed in as a student, and I am going to be doing this out of your point of view to show you exactly what you can do and how to do it. You're going to go into, I'm here a student in Ms. Kadeen's class. So I'm going to go into Ms. Kadeen's class. Now, when I click on it, it's going to give me all of this and it's going to see what she, what everybody has done or what Ms. Kadeen has added. And I am going to go to class notebook. When I open class notebook, I am going to go down here to the little navigation arrow and I'm going to go down to my name down here. When I click on my name, it's going to be giving me my class notes, handouts, homework, quizzes, logins. Now, I'm going to go to homework for the specific um, example, and I'm going to go into week one. Now, week one is going to give me all of this, all the folder or the file that I will be editing, the page that I will be editing. Now, to edit it in OneNote, once you click on it over here, you're going to go up to open in browser. Then you're going to go down to open in app, and this will open your OneNote application on your computer. Now, it's going to give you this option. You're going to say try launching the OneNote app again, and it's going to open up the file or the work in here. Now, you will see that this is a blank page, just like your class notebook. You're going to click, you're going to go down the list over here. Let's say school. We're going to go to school, double click over here and type school because school is a place. Now, the next word is candy. Candy is a thing. So if I click once, nothing happens. Double click and it will give me the option to type. Serious, is serious a noun? No, we can type that as not a noun. Okay, so now... Once you've finished all of this work, you will see you've typed in everything, and then you have to go up just here under your name. There's going to be these two arrows, and just to make sure that everything is synced up, you're going to click on that, and when there is a little cloud with an, a check mark next to it, that means it is synced back to your teams so everything that you typed in here will be back in teams as well so another functionality that we can use is the draw function up here if you don't have a keyboard to type with you can then write on the screen with your finger or with a pen now you are going for for us to start with you have to write in information in these little circles i'm just going to do this real quick but it is really really if you write on the screen it's very big that you will be writing with but if you go into view you click on the press zoom in button it's going to make this area a lot bigger which means when you write it is going to come out a lot smaller on the actual bigger picture okay so that is how you use the draw function to finish your homework and once again when you are finished you can click on these two arrows and they are going to sync up with the work that is in your notebook already now you can go ahead and close this file you can go ahead and close this window and once you click on week one your homework that you did and you go down just a couple of seconds over here you can see that it is syncing the syncing status up here and as soon as that syncing status has your little cloud with your check mark your work will appear in here now when miss kadeen comes in and she wants to check your work your work will be done in your notebook and that is how you fill in your forms or how you do your work in one note